So hello, 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 everybody. My name is Nick, you know, uh, and I'm going to do a Zoom tonight with, uh, with the gorgeous Henri Powell. And we're going we're gonna to just chat. We're going to chat tonight. We're going to talk about the importance of live events. You know, um, when we started out, she was, when we started out two and a half years ago, how long is it? Two and a half, eh? Yeah. 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 Two and a half years ago, that's all we know is Zooms. Mm. You know, that's all we know is Zooms. I've been in network marketing for nine years. And let me tell you one thing. There's nothing, there's nothing better than a live <laughs> And there's a lot of reasons why. You know, and tonight we'll, we'll dive into all of them. But, you know, if you, there's a lot of different kinds of live uh, presentations. I mean, I'm, how did you... How did you feel on Saturday night in, uh, oh, not Saturday night, on Monday night in, uh, in Cape Town? When we did all that, when we did that presentation with a packed house yeah, compared to a Zoom. Yeah, no, definitely, guys. Um, yeah, a welcome from my side as well. No, Nick, I mean, we had 70 people in a, in a, a fairly small venue on, or not small, but a very compact venue on Monday. And, how amazing it was. It was so, actually, the two is combining and complementing each other so great because we walked in and I was greeting Werner, for instance, for the first time that I ever saw him in my life in person. But I was like, hi, Varys, how are you? And he was like, pleased to meet you. And I was like, no, I've met you before. I'm sure we've seen each other, you know, in person before. And that was like the, the, the friendship that was built over Zoom is great. But to be there and to experience the energy and to bounce from one another and to see how people start getting excited and to actually have the chance to speak to people about your heart. Because on a Zoom, it's very easy and you know people are distracted. But when you're in a conversation, you are locked with that person and, you, and they can see your heart. They don't just see a screen. So now, Nick, it was amazing. The roadshow on Monday was amazing. So, you know, live reaction is contagious. And uh, we're all brand partners on the call tonight. And um, I want to just tell you that when you're busy doing a presentation, the one watches the other one. <sighs> you will find that at live presentations, the strike rate, in other words, um, the signups are amazing. So if you take an event like, like Monday night, so the roadshow, let's use it. Let's call the three events the roadshow, Joburg, Bloom, and Kata. The roadshow, that's one kind of an event. Now, that is a bigger event where you generally have all the teams inviting their guests and you pack out, right? So you have above 50 guests. When you have home, home parties, home parties or home presentations, they call it home parties, okay? So it's not a party where you go and you dance and you do your thing. No, it's a home party in other words your team invites um their guests okay one or two each to somebody's house right and it's at that house that one of the leaders does the presentation on either a screen but it's normally on a tv right so you do the, the presentation on the tv and and what happens then is when you close when you close, you will find you get your signups. So if you have 10 people at a home party, generally six sign. So you'll get a 60% strike rate at a home party. So we had the we had the, the roadshow. Okay. Now the, the important thing to do now, and this is for all of you in all the different areas and the different teams. Okay. You need to. Um, chat to one another and have at least one home party a week at somebody's cool. house. So you rotate it. You rotate it. There's no more masks. Right? So the timing is there. The timing is there. So there's no more masks. So you can have you can have the 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 um, the home parties at your houses. So you know what generally about 10, 15 people you know before the time. RSVP, very important, but you have them at your homes 
And that is where you close. So it's not a road show event. It's not the big one, but at your home, that's where you aim to build your team and to increase the number of people in your downline. Does everybody, does everybody get what I'm saying? You can unmute and, and talk to me if you want. You can ask questions as well. We, 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 we're talking here. So that's, that's called a home party. The other thing that you should actually start also doing is, you know, going, to, going and sitting at a coffee shop. Going, if you've got two, three, four hours in the morning or in the afternoon, you and a, and a brand partner, a team member, go and sit in a coffee shop. And it, inevitably, you will find people that you know sitting there, even people you don't know. And have your products there. People are inquisitive. People are inquisitive. So what I normally do, when I go to a coffee shop, I'll have my little... Bucky's on the table there. And I'll purposefully talk loud. I'll purposefully talk loud because what do you get then? When you do that and you raise your voice and you're talking to somebody, that person on this table next to you and this table next to you, they're listening. They're listening to what you're saying. And if it's something that they're interested in, what, what are they going to do? Uh, excuse me. I don't want to be rude, but I overheard you say. And when you get that, come and sit down. You know what I'm saying? So the intro is there. That's another way of getting somebody. You know, Andre, we're talking about in a coffee shop. Now. So there's, a, there's, there's the coffee shop way. There's the home party and the big event, right? And then you have luck with what we're going to have at Sun City. Now, the Sun City event that event and what we're going to do now going into sun city right we'll call it the road to sun city we're going to have as many home parties as we can get at the home parties we're going to sign up as many as what we can sign at home parties in coffee shops and automatically we are going to tell those people to save the date so sun city they said at the town hall meeting it's going to be the first week, November. So I'm, I'm saying the 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th of November. So book that date. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The road to Sun City. We need to take as many, if not every single downline to the event. And I promise you guys, I promise you, those that go to that event, you will see their businesses explode on the Monday morning. Because that event is going to fire everybody up because you're going to belong. You're going to belong somewhere. You're going to hear all the guest speakers. You're just going to be charged up. It's, you're going to be energized. You're going to be signing up the lady cleaning your room. I promise you. That is how, that is how what's the name it's going to be? Henry? You're mute. Sorry, guys. I had load shedding on this side. Just switching over quickly to the inverter. Um, yeah, Nick, I, I cannot emphasize the, the importance of live meetings and of really, if you are two people, that's a party, guys. That's a, that's a function. That's a live event. You need to start. We need to start getting out of the habit of someone else have to drive my business for me. Each and every one of us are building each other's businesses and are helping each other's businesses. But you are the only person that can get yourself up in the morning and say, I'm going to spend two or three hours at my business today speaking to three or four people, getting them for coffee, explaining them, drawing this, the, 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 you know, the, the business to them, showing the excitement, showing them the testimonies. If you need more testimonies that, um, you know, just ask us, we'll send it on. Guys, and that's building us to the next event. And you all have been at events where you've been so psyched up. And it's not about the psyched up part. It's about getting into a community and getting into a place where you feel, as you said, Nick belonged, and you look at people next to you and you start bumping off and jumping off them and asking them, but what are you doing different? And how do you do that? And how do you use those tablets? And you start getting like-minded people that's positive about the, their lives, that's positive about their business, that's making money. Guys, on the Zoom, there's people making 20, 25, 30,000 rand in South Africa currently in the new age business. Currently recurring 
That's the income that's coming in at the moment. So a lot of people say, oh, but where's the money? And someone said to me the other day, but how much do you make? And I'm like, I don't ask you what your salary is. I can tell you we are making a recurring income monthly in this business. And you can start bumping and learning from the people that's successful and start building towards that. Guys, it's one person at a time. We're not asking you to get town halls full of people to get them there. We ask you to speak to one person at least once a day about you the know, business. You know, you know, Henry, when, when people say to me, how much money you make a month? And my answer to them is very simple. I say to them, okay, how much money do I make a month? How much do you want to make a month? Yeah. It's the time you put into the business that's going to give you the return that you want. Definitely. So it's not Definitely. about how much money you're making. It's about how much time you're going to spend in this. You must remember, our business is a business. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme, right, number one. Number two, your customer is the, the customer, the person, the human. That's your customer. So the more people you speak to, and you know what? It's not necessarily going to speak to them um, live. You can, you can take a memory jogger. If you guys haven't got a memory jogger, I've got one. Ask me, I'll send you a memory jogger. And you know what? People from school, this person's divorced. That's a home, home, uh, that's a home uh, mom or dad. That's, there's people that are looking for an opportunity. And we are going into a recession, guys. Things are expensive. How much does it cost you to fill your car with petrol? Okay. So people are not driving around anymore. They're working from home. The home-based business uh, model is, is, is the flavor. Is the flavor. Yeah. And we are yeah. at the right place at the right time. I'm, the right telling, time. You, I'm telling you, oh, it's yeah. now. It's now. We've got to do it now. We've got to grab it now. Our product is great. We've yeah, got the testimony. And that is our business, isn't it, Andre? Facts tell, yeah. stories tell. We need stories to got them. Yeah, I, I actually can look at my story. I shared one of one of my business partners. Um, she's just doing customers at this stage, not building much business, but customers. And the people's reaction to her to, the, to our products, guys, it's astonishing. And it's so exciting to see what people are replying on WhatsApp. So you can look on my stories as well. Um, but Nick, one thing I want to, to also just quickly talk to you guys about is um, the power of networking. And we need to understand why it's called a networking company. Because all of us on the Zoom sitting here tonight have extra other businesses going on as well. And last, or on Monday night when we were sitting there, I met five new people. One person that was there was one of Wagner's friends. Um, he was actually doing our sound for the evening. Okay, so we started chatting and I actually made contact with him today to help me in one of my other businesses um, with some of the supplies that he's been doing in sound and in, in lights and, and music and stuff. So that's what's that that's building your life and building your empire in much more than just your new age business. That's what networking is all about. But the next time I'm I'm meeting with Gian and he's Werner's client, definitely, but he might bring a DJ to the thing that I'm hosting, and I and the DJ might start talking, and the DJ's girlfriend might be there. Or the we are sitting there and there is um, a, a, a waiter that might just be eavesdropping on you on what you are talking to the person next to the coffee table and they might approach you and say you know I heard you talking what is this all about we must never underestimate the power of sitting in a public place and talk to someone about something that is really making us excited and um, I remember I was I was putting in petrol the other day and there was a, this girl may you know she was selling some of this stuff that they spray on your tires and it makes it all black and I was like oh my goodness you are such a good salesperson what do you do for a life and she's like I, I'm in promotion and I like I've got the business just for you and I took her number and I sent her all the stuff and she signed up as a, as a business partner and it's so exciting to see that you can start linking those people with each other and it's just about open mouth open shop it's about listen why do you have so much energy let me tell you about this amazing product that I that I'm on or Jimmy just drinking the 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 amino god when he's chatting with these with with people. I started playing netball, guys. I'm a hockey player. I started playing netball in, in two weeks ago. I am networking and drinking my hero um, amino god and give the people taste of the BCAA and 
I've, I made a whole network. I'm on a group with 50 new numbers that I got. And I'm going to start phoning these people individually. So never under is networking is not just who can use my product. It's about who and what am I? Who am I? You're not just a new age brand partner. You're a person that's got extra jobs. That's got, and those are all the people that can become your customers. All of them are tired. All of them needs energy. All of them wants to lose weight. And now is the time for weight loss. Guys, summer bodies are made in the winter. Punt that. Go out and make sure that people are on your product to that, that they are ready when the, when the summer is hitting. But go and do that coffees. We can now sit in a coffee shop, get someone for a 20-minute coffee quickly, tell them about the business, and some pull in the waiter and the, the, um, the manager, if you want to, and the car guard that's waiting at the car, at, the, at, um, at, at your car as well. Everyone is a potential business partner in the world. So I just want to say on to what you're saying, um, Henry. There's two types of people that you're going to get into your business. Okay, you've probably heard this before, but I'm going to repeat it. And remember, to repeat something is not a bad thing. No matter how long you've been in the business, you rather rather teach an old person, rather teach a new person the old way, and and teach an old person the old way. The same thing, because there's a system in our business, right? So um, what I want to say is, um, you've got a deaf perception, I call it. A deaf, it's called a deaf perception. What is that? That is, in your mind, in your mind, you've got a, a space to which you go until and you think until. You think that's you, that's you done. But the power of one more. So if you just go that extra mile, that extra mile, you never know who's there. So there's two types of people. There's the connector and the builder. Right. So... The more people you speak into, the more, the more people that will come onto your team, those are connectors. All you're looking for is that builder, that one, that one. So when you say you want to speak to 10 people, speak to 10 people and then think about it. Say the power of one more. You go and find the 11th one because it could be that 11th one. Okay, so the, the, you don't know how far you are from that 11th one. So you just got to keep on pushing. Now, when you get a build on your left side and you get a build on your right side, just imagine what happens to your business. That's what it is. And once you've got that, you analyze who the builders are and you spend, you spend 80% of your time with that builder. And 20, the other 20%, put them on the Zooms. Put them on the Zooms. Don't leave them. Put them on the Zooms. Until they start and they start working and building and building, you spend more time with them. And that slowly, slowly, you'll see the, the team that you build will be amazing, will be awesome. And that's how you, that's how, and, and Andre, you said it. There's guys earning between 20 and 40,000 rand a month already. And we haven't even started. But why are they earning that? They're earning it because... Yes. They yeah. Put it in. They put Nick, it in. just yeah, just just one other thing that I quickly would like to touch on you guys. And I know a lot of you are also fairly new or you've been in the business for here for a long time. And we they also don't ever start with your family because your family will be, be your biggest criticism. They will tell you it's not possible that you're going to make that money. Is it another thing that you are taking on? Really, you're not, you're not going to make the money. But what I've done in the first few months was I invited one evening, and that's how we called like a business launch. And I'm thinking of doing one again. And even if I have been two and a half years in the business, um, but that's where I go to all my friends and all my family. And I tell them, listen, guys, I've got the Zoom set up and there's one big shot that's going to talk at my Zoom. I need you all to pitch because otherwise I'm going to look like a fool. You need to be on that Zoom. It's going to be 10 minutes. I please just want you to listen and raise a glass of, you know, you can mute yourself. You can, you know, put your, just be on. Just let me go in and at least don't look like a fool. And then your family will jump on, guys. They are your biggest supporters in not making you look like a fool because it's going to push and fall back on them. 
And then in that first 10 minutes, you get someone strong to just touch on what this business is really about. Just 10 minutes. You let them raise a glass and say, cheers, well done with your business. You've relaunched or you've started again. And those people will not be your buyers, but I promise you they will be your connectors. They're going to, if someone is tired, go, oh, you know what? I've got a family member that's actually in this business now. You must actually give her a call. I've been in the business two and a half years. My mom phoned me for products one and a half week ago. She has lost five kilograms in one week. She's sleeping like a log in the evening. And it's my mom, guys, two and a half years. And it's like, I just left her. I just said to her every time she asked me, how's the business? I go, it's fantastic. Even if I'm not making one cent in, a, in, in that week, I'm going, it's the most exciting business that I've ever been jumping in. And that's how that's going to start building. Those people, we've got so many brand partners that's bringing in their family and start talking. So never underestimate the power of getting your family and friends to start supporting you as connectors. Yes, Andrea, 100%. And you know, how, you, how do you deal with your family? Yes. Because you, you're 100% right. They are the biggest critics. <laughs> but what you say to them is the following. I don't want you to join. I don't want you to join. But do me one favor. I want you to support me. That's it. I want you to support me. That's all you tell them. Don't force nothing. Because they're not going to do it. Because, you yeah. know, exactly what you said. No, but you know, you're getting involved in this and what this. And they're going to have a whole <laughs> hundred stories. So, you know what? I just want you to support me. That's the one thing I want to touch on. The other thing that Andre said. One of her uh, brand partners is only... Uh, uh, um, selling the product to customers. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Remember, so you've heard people say, I can't sell. I'm not good at selling. I, I haven't got time. I this or that. You know what? If you sell somebody the product once and you sell somebody the, the same product the second time, what do you think you're going to tell him the third time he comes to you or he, she comes to you? So why are you buying it the third time? Now you can talk. Now you can talk, but now you're going in recruit mode. Because, so now you see, now you've bought the product once. Now you've bought the product again. So what happened? No, my sister also wants. Oh, your sister wants. So now you're buying the product at, at retail. Why don't you just join the business so that you can make a 30% profit with with selling your sister, your sister, your friend, your cousin, your neighbor, whatever. You know what? It's easy for yourself. Like, it's easier like that because you're not putting any pressure. You're not yeah. putting any pressure. Yeah. And then when you have the home party, guys, don't drag it out. Don't drag it out. It, it's it's not effective. Remember what you're there to do. You're not there to have a party. You're not there to have a drink. You're not there to play the music loud. You're not there nothing. You there to invite the people, start on time, have it at least half an hour to the presentation and a half an hour to close and to sign them up right there. That's what you got to do at a home party. No, no alcohol, no nothing, no care. Okay, water or tea or coffee. Because you're there to do business. You're there to do business. You're there to build your team. There's another time for care. Success loves speed. That's where it comes from. Success loves speed. When you're talking to somebody uh, over the phone, I'm in a hurry. Can I, can I invite you to a, a, a meeting on Zoom? 30 minutes, be on the Zoom. Or can I meet you for coffee tomorrow? I just want 30 minutes of your time. I've got something exciting to share with you. That's it. 30 minutes, no care. And move on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? So differentiate. Remember, it's your business. Mm. Okay. It's not social time. It's your business. You want to you wanna grow your business. You want to earn maximum on that Friday. you got a week to do it. Yeah, definitely. So I yeah, think, Nick. Yeah. You know, just from my side as well, guys, um, you know, start, start also jumping on the people that's in your area. Start making, even if you're not in the same team, it doesn't matter. We're from New Age, guys. We are a team. Yes. It doesn't matter in whose leg or where or where's your organization. We are a team. We are building this name of this brand together. So if you have someone in your area, make contact with them and say, guys, I'm going to host the party. 
each one of you bring two people or one person, you know, no. they two's a party, three's a crowd, they say so bring two or three people or each person bring bring one and then from there on you guys have one speaker one testimonial quickly talk do the things do the signups follow up with each person and there you go have a few products there to show and have a few testimonials it doesn't have to be a long dragged out thing that you need to plan for for five hours and 17 days you just need to do it and the best way to do it is to jump in and see how you're going to swim. It's the easiest way to do this business. Yes. There's no such thing as a perfect party. There's no such thing as a perfect speech or a per perfect presentation. The best and most effective way to do this business is from your heart and to really speak to someone what's in your heart. And that is what network marketing is all about. So Nick, I love you. doing this with you. Uh, I'm going to touch on also and, and close with what you were saying there, uh, Manny. We are, we are different teams, but one team. We are new age. Okay, it's a new age and a new way. We want to build Africa. We want to build South Africa. It's time to lock arms. It's time to lock arms. We go up together. Right, number one. Number two, um, if you guys have got people in Johannesburg here and you want, you want assistance here, there's plenty of us here. The same in Bloemfontein, the same in Cape Town, the same anywhere. You know what I mean? There's people in all types of, in all, in all uh, countries, this, um, or towns, there's, there's enough of us to close for the other one. Okay. Remember momentum, eh? Together, together we move a mountain. Alone we cannot. Yeah. Right? And then we're 14 on this call tonight. 14. I want us to now to, I want you to listen to me, please. And I'm not talking like a boss. I'm talking like a team member with all of you. Let us, let, us, let us put in our heads here 8 o'clock on, on, on Tuesdays and 8 o'clock on Thursdays. There's a Zoom. It's going to be held by somebody. Right. It's no point having a Zoom uh, uh, with this team and a Zoom with this team at the same time. We, we're not, we're not going to achieve what we want to achieve. Right. 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, uh, Thursday and Tuesday and Thursday is the main Zooms. You want to have team Zooms, private Zooms, whatever. That's fine. Do them at seven. Do them at seven. Do them at nine. You know? And then what I want to do is on a Monday, one of the, one of the senior leaders will do training. We'll do training only on a Monday uh, from, from eight o'clock to nine o'clock. We'll do an hour training. And then eventually we lead to live training. And I'm going to probably start that sooner rather than later for those in Johannesburg. So if any of you are in Johannesburg on the call or you, you've got team members on the call, uh, it's probably going to be in the Ravonia uh, area. Uh, I've got a friend that's got a, a, a huge boardroom. I'll have my trainings there uh, for all of us, for every single one of us on a Saturday. I'll let you guys know when I start that. But for now, Mondays, not, not this week coming. In fact, uh, yes, I'll do it this week. So this week, I'll start with the training this week, Monday at okay, 8 o'clock. And then, and then Tuesday and, th and Thursday, we'll have an opportunity Zoom and a, uh, sorry, and a prospecting Zoom. And, uh, and we go forward with a, with a mission. 14 yeah. people on a Zoom here. Everybody must bring a guest. Yes. Starting, starting next week. Because if everybody okay. brings a guest, suddenly we're 28. If that 28 brings a guest, now what are we? 56. If that 56 brings a guest, we are 112. You know what? Do you see how we go here? That's how we build the power of numbers, guys. Let's do this. Nigeria is also launching. Don't forget about Nigeria. You've got a continent that you've got to deal with here. Nigeria yeah. is also launching. If you know people that know people in Nigeria, start focusing. In the in third quarter, we were on a Zoom last night. Uh, July, August, or September, one of those three months, it's launching. So okay. the power of four, don't forget. The power of four, you need four people there to build your team. And off awesome. you go. And that's from me. Um, uh, Andrew, yeah, that's, that. No, I just want to say thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And thank you that you jumped on. Have a great weekend. Be safe, be warm. And um, yeah, we'll see you next week, Monday. Tops. See you Monday. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your time. Not everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye